Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in once again, guys. We have a little bit of a vlog for you today. We are, are going to hit up my buddy's house today. Uh, he's got a few things that he got for us that we got to pick up. So extremely excited to show you guys about that. And he's also got something going on in his car that um, we might end up tagging along with him to see the uh, to see him get it installed and then maybe get his final thoughts and impressions after. So stay tuned for that. But before we head out, guys, there is one thing I really want to share with you guys. I am super, super ecstatic to announce that we have a new sponsor for the Project S3. Um, this is a long time overdue and perhaps this is one of your first mods that usually a lot of people do. But for me, this looks like maybe it could be one of my last. But nonetheless, it is getting done. So without further ado, here it is. Yes, guys, X-Force Exhaust is supporting the S3 build. They are my new sponsor. I am so happy and ecstatic to get this part on the car. All right, so I flipped it around. There's a closer look at the valve system. I know a lot of exhaust manufacturers, they usually put their valves on the pipes. Uh, however, this one is right in the center muffler. So cool to see. Now, you might be asking, why has it taken me so long to look into this? Now, the reason behind that is because I'm personally not a huge fan of the way the MQB platform sounds with the aftermarket exhaust. Our four cylinders, you know, agree with me or disagree, I don't think they sound very good on this engine. Um, so I've always been a little bit concerned of that. And that's why I've st stuck with that as long as I have. But I also know that's robbing me or, or holding me back from more power that I could be adding to my project here. So here the really cool thing about this exhaust that I'm not concerned about any sound issues is because of the valve system in combination with the smart box so just a quick overview the smart box um, it's got its own app and it there are some really cool features with the smart box so you can actually control the valve system how much it opens up so whether it be like 25 50 75 percent now you can do that depending on rpm you can do that depending on geographical location. So I guess if you program it and uh, enable the GPS, once you hit the track, this thing will be fully opened. So guys, there are a lot of customization that you can do with this system that I'm really excited about. And it doesn't have me worried not even one bit about how the sound is going to be because it's going to be tuned exactly to how I want it to sound. So very excited about that. I'm going to show you guys all about that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Now, with that said, guys, let us head out to my buddy Lee's house and let's go pick up those parts. See you guys there. I'm with my buddy here, Lee. Say hi, Lee. What's up? What's going on? What's up? Very excited. All right. You got the wheel? Let's 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 yeah. Let's let's take a look at the wheel. So this is Lee. What what year is this? This is 2018. 2018. So he's got the seven-speed, which I wish I got with my 2017. So it's got, what color is this, Lee? Uh, our blue crystal. Our blue crystal. And let's take a look at this wheel. So it is, we got some blue accents here. Take a look at this. Blue stitching and you got carbon fiber with blue. Come on, get to focus. There you go. And look at that, guys. He's doing some carbon accents in here. Let's take a quick look inside. He's also got this all carbon fibered up, so he's getting this to match. All right, Lee, so you want to talk about a little bit of your car right now? Yeah, sure. So what do so you got? It's uh, 2018, uh, our blue. Just done some basic exterior mods and some carbon interior stuff. Which I love. You got this MBRP exhaust. Yep, MBRP exhaust. So you, you put some custom uh, forged carbon tips on here, right? Yep. Uh, no valves on here. No. But you do have the forged carbon. What did you say? Sorry, after what, what's what's the next plan after this? This is it. The wheel's it. That wheel's yeah, at it. You know, just yeah. enjoy it after that. Possibly, I may uh, I may get valves welded on. Sounds good. Obviously, here, guys, he's got he's got the carbon going on. It looks really nice on this blue because I got a lot of carbon, but my car is black. You can't really enjoy it, unfortunately. But 
Love the blue. Blue is popping. We gotta get a cold start on this sure, thing. Sure, man. Yeah. No, of course. Yeah, no worries. All good. All good. Cold start time. Two hours later. We are back from the shop. So what do you think? Yeah, man. I hope the pot works. <laughs> it feels good, bro. I mean, it looks, it looks good. Cool. Uh, blue accents. I mean, you can try using the paddles, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. You get to an open road and whatnot. Oh yeah, it's fast actually, faster than the uh, other ones. And then I think the position of the paddles are a lot better. Yeah. Flat bottom, and you got the flat top NSX style, right? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Flat bottom and flat top. Yeah. I was yeah. Getting confused. Sweet. Love the design, and you got like the thicker. Uh, I guess bolstering, I guess, on the steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, here, yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. It feels nice. All right, that's it. Uh, Lee's enjoying his wheel. I think he's gonna go out right now for a little drive. I'm gonna do my own soon. I'll show you like actually what I'm doing. I have an airbag cover, which I'll be showing you guys shortly when we head back. And we got, that'll be probably the first phase. I probably have three phases for my steering wheel, um, which I will talk about a little later. Um, but phase one will definitely be the airbag cover first. So we're gonna head home and we'll see you guys back. All right, so we're back at home now. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys since we're back, these are some of the things I brought back home. Um, shout outs to Lee for um, grabbing these for me. But um, main thing from here is definitely this guy right here. The airbag cover. So smooth leather with a red stitching, black emblem. So I'm going to be doing this. Um, we have um, a wheel cover that I'm that I ordered with red stitching as well with the red stripe. So um, I'm going to be installing that. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this step by step. Um, and then the wheel cover. And what else I got here? And here, guys, we got this. We got carbon fiber mirror caps that we're going to throw on the car as well. So, um, got a few things to install here, guys. Um, I'm really excited about the mods for the steering wheel. Now, I could have just gone for a carbon fiber steering wheel. Um, maybe not this year, um, you know, I, I just figured this would be a kind of fun little DIY and maybe sometime next year I can look at getting a full uh, carbon fiber steering wheel. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me and as always, we'll catch you guys on the next one.